Hello everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Today I'm filming a baking video. I haven't filmed one of these in quite a while and I love baking and trying new things. So in this video I am baking something that I've never baked before. So it will be interesting to see how this turns out. I'm actually going to be baking it later on today. I'm just filming the intro sat here and I'm going to be baking Bueno cookie bars. I first saw these in Gemma Louise's video. I will link her video in the description where I saw these and she was following a recipe from somebody else. I'm not sure who the person's Oh yeah, Jane's Patisserie. She was following the recipe from janespatisserie.com. I will link down Gemma Louise's video where she makes them and the vlog and I will also link down in the description the actual original recipe from this woman and on her blog. So go and check that out if you wanna follow along and if you wanna try it yourself. But I just thought this was quite an interesting idea. I've made cookies, but I've not made a cookie bar before. So it kind of looks like a brownie, but a cookie. There's like Kinder Bueno chocolate and actual Kinder Bueno bars. So I thought that was quite interesting. So we're gonna give that a go and that's what this video is. So like I said, the recipe's in the description. I'm just gonna get going, no need to ramble on. Let's get into the video. So these are the ingredients. Like I said, I will leave the recipe in the description, but I will show you what ingredients you need anyway, but just not the amounts because I can't be bothered to read that off. I'm just looking at the recipe on my phone right now. But first of all, you need plain flour, bicarbonate of soda, salt, corn flour, which I actually had because I put that in my bath bombs that I make. Then also granulated sugar and light brown sugar. Then vanilla, I don't usually have vanilla, but I actually remembered to buy some last time at Lidl, thank heavens. Then one egg, which nearly rolled off the side. Then this is like the Kinder Bueno part to the actual thing. It asks for Kinder Chocolate. I just got these, like 16 small bars. As you can see, I've had a couple um, since I went to Lidl a few days ago. And then the actual Kinder Bueno bars. So I'm not sure how much of these two I actually need, but I'll have a look on the recipe. So that's what you need. And I've actually got everything for once. So the recipe says to line a baking tin. I don't have grease proof paper because I've run out and I don't have tin foil or anything like that. So I'm just gonna have to use this tin here and put butter in it. We'll see if it comes out a complete mess at the end or not, but you know, we'll see what happens. So I'm now gonna add the plain flour, bicarbonate of soda, cornstarch and salt to the bowl. to weigh out my unsalted butter, put it in there and then melt it. So I've just added in my caster sugar and the light brown sugar. Now I'm supposed to mix this around. So I'm gonna give it a little mix and then I think that's when we add like egg and stuff. I'm not sure if this is meant to be whisked. What does the recipe say? Apparently by hand I need to whisk this for three minutes. So um, back in a second. Also, I added less sugar for both of them because I always add less sugar into my recipes. Don't think I can crack an egg with one hand. We can try. Oh, 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 oh. We tried. Need to practice that a little bit more, I think. Now to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. I've added in my one teaspoon of vanilla and now it says to whisk this. So I can't really do it whilst holding the camera, unfortunately. I don't have someone to help me film this. So I'm just going to um, do this off camera, potentially. That's this bowl gonna come off the side.
I'm now gonna add the wet mixture into the dry mixture. So this is the cookie dough. I'm gonna now chop up the Kinder Bueno chocolate and the bars. The recipe wants 250 grams of chocolate and I have 168 but that's not a problem. I don't really care. It's not an essential ingredient and plus I'll probably just add more of the Bueno bars. So I've chopped it up now. This is what's gonna go inside the cookie dough and then it says in the recipe to save some to put on top of it before it goes in the oven. So that's what I've saved to put on top and this is what's gonna go in it and then I will chop that bar up. lie that was actually really hard to mix that in I'm not entirely sure why I feel like my spoon was gonna break but maybe it's the cornstarch or something I'm not sure but yeah it's making the mixture feel a lot different I've just chopped up some of the chocolate bar and that's literally like some of it I'm gonna add that into there into this bowl I'm gonna add it in there and then I'm gonna leave again some for the top which is what it says to do I don't know if that is gonna fit into there if not then we might have to do half and half but we'll see it's not exactly the healthiest recipe in the world right this is how much I saved for the top it literally says in the recipe to push the mixture into the tray so that's what I'm gonna try and do oh my god oh dear I can hear it all crunching everywhere. Don't worry, I've washed my hands. Not sure if this tray's too small. I think we'll be okay, they'll just have to be thinner. Stretch them out a little bit. Actually, I'll push it in with the spoon for a bit. What it's looking like right now but we still need to add that on top. I don't think that was necessary to have to do that. It feels so heavy, oh my God. This is gonna be literally gonna give you diabetes if you eat this, but I'm gonna add these things on the top, dot them around anyway, because that's what the recipe says. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is what it looks like before I put it in the oven. I'm about to put it in the oven and literally look how, like, did I read the recipe right? I'm just gonna check it because this looks like a lot of chocolate, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, I read it right. Right, I'm gonna put it in the oven. It says to put it in the oven at 190 degrees Celsius for about, it says 17 to 22 minutes, but the woman says she likes hers gooey, so she leaves it in for 19 minutes, which is like in the middle. So I'm just gonna wait for the oven to preheat and then I'll put it in for probably, I'll check it after 17 minutes and then I'll check it after 19 minutes and then at 22. Not sure how long I'm gonna leave this in for, but we'll see. And also I can see myself having problems getting this out, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just boiling the kettle for a cup of tea, but this is what it looks like at 17 minutes. So I've taken it out at 17 minutes it's probably quite gooey, so I am actually gonna put it in for two or three more minutes, and then I'll take it out. And obviously it did say in the recipe that the tops of the pieces on top might, you know, get a little bit toasted, but I'm fine with that. I think this looks quite nice, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I left it in for 21 minutes. I've now taken it out and I'm gonna turn the oven off. It says to leave it in the tin for 10 minutes and then to cool it on a wire rack. I'll leave it in the tin for 10 minutes and then I'll attempt to get it out and put it onto here. But I have a strong feeling that might be a struggle, but we will see. So see you in 10 minutes. Try to chop it up into squares, so we'll see if I can get the individual squares out. Ooh, I actually managed to get a square out, even though it's missing a little bit, but I'm happy with that. I was literally expecting the entire thing to break. Look at that. I'm well impressed with this. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get them out now and stop fapping around. 
So I've managed to get it out of the tin and I'm so surprised and pleasantly surprised. These actually look so good, like in my opinion. They look very rustic but in a good way and yeah, they're quite crumbly so you have to be careful with them. But yeah, I really like these and I'm very happy with them. I tried a tiniest little corner of one as well and it tastes so good. So yeah, I will leave in, I don't want to eat one right now, I'm going to have one later on but I will leave in the comments or in the description my rating of these out of 10. Personally, if you want them to be a little bit gooier, I would say to definitely leave them in for less time. I'll try and show one a little bit more up close, like a middle piece maybe, a less crumblier piece, but yeah, that's what they look like. They're gonna, they're quite gooey in the middle um, in terms of the middle pieces, and yeah, oh my God, they look so good. So I'm just gonna stop poking that. By the way, I do wash my hands whenever I bake, just thought I'd let that know let you know. But yeah, this is a success. video I finished baking don't know if it turned out good because I'm filming this outro before I've even made them but I'm sure I would have let you know at the end of the video and finished result but I just wanted to round off this video and say thank you for watching hope you enjoyed watching vlogmas day eight and I will see you tomorrow for a really festive vlog so see you tomorrow goodbye <laughs>